Good morning, I'm Rachel Smalley. Light winds forced the cancellation of this morning's America's Cup race. It was a cruel blow for Team New Zealand, who were two minutes ahead of Oracle. Oracle had been having problems with a head cell halyard and were finally saved because the race had gone beyond 40 minutes. Let's go now to Penny Whiting, yachtswoman and founder of the Penny Whiting Sailing School, has been watching the racing from the Royal New Zealand Yacht Squadron. Uh, Penny, firstly, could you just talk us through uh, why there's a time limit on a race? Well, there's time limits, there's wind limits, a high wind limit and a low wind limit. And these rules were set with the two teams and the race officials a long time ago. So halfway through a regatta, you just can't say, we're going to change the time limit, we're going to let you sail longer, or the wind can blow 30 knots. So the rules are there for a reason, and to me, it was evident halfway through that race that they weren't going to make the time limit. What buoyed me tremendously was the speed New Zealand was going and how they were sailing the boat in those much lighter conditions. We seemed to get on the foils quicker, we seemed to do our jibing which is going downwind quicker and our sail handling was great. So I was buoyed by our performance but it was a real disappointment that it was blown up. And saying that, it did look as if Oracle had some sort of issue. I know that on the commentary there's a lot of conversation about whether the Halliard jammed. What did you make of what you saw? Yes, it certainly did, and it took two of their crew out to untangle it. So when you pull the sail up with the rope halyard, it's liable to get knotted uh, and twisted within itself, and that's exactly what happened. And it took two men, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes, to get that untangled. And that would have caused extra windage for Oracle, and it proved that at the top mark it went from one minute to two minutes, and I put a minute of that down to the halyard being twisted. But they won't let that happen again. OK, so what do you think um, the situation will be uh, now? Because it appears that Oracle had loaded the boat for the light air. Would they have been able to make any changes at all? Yes, in that short 15 minutes prior to starting this race, they would have made changes. But Oracle are very good copycats. They've been watching what we've been doing on Emirates Team New Zealand. They've been working out how to change their boat so they can do what we do and how we sail the boat. So this next race is going to be a blinder. Uh, and light winds, finally, Penny. Do they favour either Team New Zealand or Oracle, do you think? I think the light winds are favouring New Zealand, but what, what the issue for me is in this next race is going to be the tide is going to be much stronger. So when they're going downwind, they're going to be forced back out under the Golden Gate Bridge. So, oh, it's going to be an interesting race, this next one. Indeed. Penny Whiting, the Royal New Zealand Yacht Squadron, live us this morning. Thank you so much.